Hi, my name is Rob Stelson, and it is my privilege to be able to bring you this devotion from our Made New series, and this is my salvation story. I grew up in a warm, loving, caring family, um, and I have a, you know really fond memories of my childhood. Lots of happy memories, spending amazing time with my with my mum and dad and my sister and my extended family. Um, church to me was weddings, funerals. And when I was a scout, we had to march through the village in our formal uniform once a month uh, towards the village church. And we sat in the village church on the kind of um, the balcony, just causing mayhem by probably flicking things off the top onto people below and all sorts of stuff. Because we were bored, we were fed up, we didn't want to be there. Um, and all we wanted to do was get out and, and mess around outside. Um, and those are the only experiences of, of church I had. Um, I had no real kind of, you know, family connection to Christianity. No one in my family was a Christian. Um, and so kind of went, you know, through the kind of what I thought were the kind of you know, normal things to do, which was to kind of go to school, do GCSEs, do A-levels. And then I went off to university um, to study marine biology because that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a marine biologist. When I arrived at university, um, got into my halls of residence um, and met some friends um, and kind of obviously kind of met people who I was kind of, you know, with. Um, and met a girl um, and we fell in love and we spent kind of you know our, our time together at university and then when we left university um, a long time ago I should add now um, we we decided that we wanted to kind of be together and spend our ultimately our lives together so my girlfriend uh, got a job um, in Bolton um, which is you know why we were living in the northwest of, of England and um, she got her first flat in Bury um, and we effectively started kind of living our lives, you know, with our first jobs um, in in that time. Um, and then November, um, September the 11th happened. And this kind of had a huge impact on my, my girlfriend at the time. She was from a Christian family um, and she had been obviously living her life kind of away from away from God, away from kind of church. Um, and I hadn't really asked any questions about about that. Um, and so she really felt on September the 11th that God said to her, you need to come back to, to me. And so she made that decision. She made that commitment. And I was kind of completely oblivious to this. Um, didn't understand, couldn't, you know, um, kind of, you know, tie the, the two things together. You know, said that, you know, I'm quite happy for her to go to church on a Sunday and I'll read the paper um, and then we'll catch up later on. But she really felt that kind of our relationship and kind of who we are and where we were heading was kind of incompatible with what she wanted and what she felt was right for her. Um, and so she made that decision to ultimately, you know, end our relationship, which was really traumatic at the time, um, devastating for, for me, but not really understanding, but obviously, you know, really upsetting for her as well. And so that was it. We went our separate ways. Um, I kind of looked at how I was going to, you know, I don't know, rebuild my life, put my life back together, I suppose. Sounds very dramatic saying that, but that's how it felt at the time. Um, and carried on, you know, going to work, doing the things that I wanted to do. Um, and then a few weeks later, we kind of met at a mutual friend's uh, house party. Um, and I just started to, you know, talk to talk to my girlfriend or my ex-girlfriend, uh, as it was then, about kind of the decisions and kind of what she'd been up to. And she described, you know, her you know time at church. And, you know, I could just see that, you know, she was... She was still the, you know, the, the girl, the, the young woman that I knew, but there was something different about it, which I find really hard to articulate and really found hard to articulate back then. So she shared about kind of, you know, her life and what she'd been doing and going to church. And the church that she described was so different to the church that, you know, I, I had experienced as a child. Um, and so, again, you know, the, the, the evening kind of came to an end. We went our, you know, both to our respective homes and. Um, and I just really felt, you know, that I just wanted to understand more about this decision that she'd made um, and about this kind of this church that she, you know, started to, to go to and kind of learn learn more about it. But I just want to check it out, really. Um, so I phoned phoned my girlfriend up, her ex-girlfriend up, um, and said I'd like to come along just to kind of see what it's all about. Um, and so one Sunday, you know, we, we both went. She took me, she invited, yeah, introduced me to her friends. Um and kind of listen to the message, watch people worship. Um, didn't really get anything out of it at that point, uh, other than, you know, it was a it was an amazing atmosphere to be in. And I kind of looked at what the people around me had and what they believed. And, um, you know, thought that was great for them. 
Um, and at the end, we kind of, you know, had a, had a brew, I'm sure. And then, you know, again, kind of, you know, that, that was it. Um, and then during that kind of that week, kind of something, you know, just felt this kind of compelling part of my, my kind of, you know, my, you know, my, my, my mind and just kind of say, well, I think we should, you know, you should we, I think we, you should go back. Um, so I phoned up um, my ex-girlfriend again and said, you know, I'd like to come back again the following week. And over the kind of the next few weeks, my kind of understanding as I listened to kind of what was being shared, as I understood what was kind of, you know, better understood, you know, the the implications of what was being shared, kind of started to have this shift in my, my mind and ultimately my heart, I guess, around actually this is, you know, something that is a, is important for the people around me, but actually it's it's important for me too. Um, and started to kind of, you know, forge a connection with kind of the, the, the messages that were being shared, even in worship, um, wasn't kind of full hands up, um, just kind of, you know, completely engaged. But it was actually the the words from the worship songs that were being sung. I could kind of start to actually get an understanding of what they meant because they kind of, you know, tied into what was being spoken about. And also what my, you know, my, my ex-girlfriend at the time, as she was kind of talking about those things. Um, and sharing about them and helping me understand. Um, and over those weeks, that kind of grew um, and started going every week um, and started to started to pray during the week as well. Um, and just, you know, for for the God that I've been introduced to, to help me understand and make more sense of it. So that that all culminated in one Sunday, Sunday evening, um, the minister, you know, the pastor sharing a message and at the end offering inviting people uh, to make a decision to, to become a Christian and accept Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. Um, and that was in November 2001. Um, and I gave my life to Jesus, you know, uh, in that night service. Um, of, you know, someone prayed with me straight after who has now become a lifelong friend um, who we've kind of, you know, just incredibly close to now. Um, my ex-girlfriend, um, we kind of talked about kind of, you know, that decision and about what that meant for us. Um, but that led ultimately to, you know, us becoming engaged, us becoming married and buying our first house and moving into that house when we got married together. Um, and we've lived for Jesus and we've lived this amazing life for the last 20 or so years. Um, and it's been absolutely amazing. Um, and it all kind of ties back to that, you know, that moment that my girlfriend, you know, all that time ago had that encounter with God Um right after September the 11th had kind of, you know, happened and hit the news. And that led to my ultimate salvation um, and us becoming, you know, the, the couple that we are today with our beautiful family, but with Jesus and with God at the centre of everything that we do. That's my salvation story. I, um, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure to to share it. Uh, make sure you kind of, you know, look out for other salvation stories that come up shortly from Audacious Church. Thank you.